the day called today is God's precious gift to us. That is why today is called present. Present. The only period you can call present is not yesterday, it's past. It's not tomorrow, it's not yet arrived. In fact, in this life, there is nothing like tomorrow. Tomorrow exists just by name. Once the tomorrow tomorrow arrives it moves again to another tomorrow you will never meet it until you die you will never meet tomorrow i want to bet you if you want to chase tomorrow you will never meet tomorrow, tomorrow till eternity it doesn't exist it only it is it is only by name what is real is today and that is a present it is a gift now what does it mean to present something to have a present to furnish or endow to furnish or endow with a gift to bring to offer to offer so today is a gift that God has offered to us to afford. So today is a gift that God has afforded us. Hmm. He has afforded us to straighten the crooked and to, unf to finish the unfinished business he has afforded us to build on our skills so we don't lose out of the competition once you have this gift call today shut out the past yesterday shut off the future the unborn tomorrow then you are safe for the day now once you are right once God presents you the day close the door to yesterday it is a dead past and then shut the unborn future and then live in the day tight compartment live in the day tight compartment concentrate your energy your strength and all your ability on doing today's work superbly today that is the best way to prepare against the future. Do today's work superbly today. And you'll be preparing effectively against tomorrow. The future is what we do today. Who you are today is what you did yesterday. You are a product of your yesterday. Work very hard today. Now, there was this lady who was in the law school. And then the mother told me how she was studying and studying and studying. Uh, recently I met her because it's been a long time, so she came home. Now she's a doctor. She's a lawyer. Did she say, I say a lawyer, lawyer. Uh -huh. She say, oh, you're running for pa. And then I was asking about how she made it. Now me bisano se kwa yofa so do tibi ani. Then she told me how those days she will leave home for about three weeks. Her phone is off. She goes out to a solitary place to maybe one of their homes somewhere, lock herself up tell parents siblings that i'm out of coverage area and then she told the mother that she told me that she had to write the the exams to the law school she had to write it twice so she told herself that once she has entered the law school proper the 10 papers that they write 
she wasn't going to fail any one of them she was going to take all the ten like that and so she decided to study and she studied na sukupon na wakwakwa she mu no na enso hwe bebre o ha opese oye na no wat sina dwini pise onnim kokoo ba kokura ewo mu na she said at the end of the day there were about 700 69 of them scored all the ten she was one of them na wo wie enso hwe ni nyina wie no